Hello students, so we are again here to discuss the projection of solid coastline and today I am going to discuss with the question in which solid is cone and in cone is like that in which axis of the cone is inclined with VP. Okay, so let's see the question first then we will see the imagination. The question is a cone with base 40 mm dia and axis 55 mm long which means the diameter of the cone is 40 mm and the length or the height of the cone is 55 mm lies on a point of its base on VP means the base of the cone which is circular in form it rests on that but not complete base but a point of the base you you can see here that this is one of the point on which your cone rests on VP so this is a vertical plane such that the axis makes an angle 45 degree with VP okay so when the center line passes through the cone and meets with VP over here it should make an angle 45 so draw the projections of cone so first we have to see the 3d part over here so you can see here this is a front view and this is a vertical plane and this is a top view and this is a horizontal plane so you can see here that this is my cone Okay, so this is a cone and it rests on one of the point this is one of the point on which it rests on VP you can see here so this is the easy way to see that okay so it rests on VP on one of the base point on VP and so that the axis line when it passes through the center and meets with the VP over here it should makes an angle 45 over here okay so this is my imagination so you can see here this is a front view and this is your top view okay as per the question but you know that i cannot start my question because i cannot see the true shape or you can say the circular form either from the front view and either from the top view so you have to make an assumption over here so what is the assumption the axis makes an angle with vertical plane so you have to make that axis exactly perpendicular to vertical plane okay so how to do that so you can see here that i'll rotate it now so i'll rotate this okay now you can see that this is a rotation of my cone so i have to make this exactly like this so that it's perpendicular this axis line must be perpendicular to vp so this is the way to make the rotation of my particular cone which makes an angle with VP but after the assumption the axis line now passes through the center it makes an angle of 90 degree with VP now so you can see here from the front view now you can see completely circle okay the diameter of circle is given now and this top view gives you a triangular form okay so this is the imagination so let's start the question now so first of all you have to make that reference line over here so now from the front view you know the circular form so you have to make the front view first so take a circle and make a 20 mm radius so this is your circle and you know that whenever you face the these type of questions like cylinder and cone and circular plates you have to divide your circle into 8 or 12 equal parts okay so how to divide these 8 or 12 equal parts that's according to the polar array so you know that this is a line and I'll make this array over here so you can see here this is array and a polar array so this is a sub object and this is a center point so you can see that I'll convert this into 8 equal parts okay so this is a division of my circle into eight equal parts so for more you can go to the separate video which i already made that how to divide your circle into eight or twelve or any equal parts in autocad okay so this is the way so now i'll take the projections downwards this one again take a projection downward again take a projection downwards and again take a projection downwards so this is a way to make your projection from every corner or every element of your cone okay now i'll give the normal feature of it so how to give the normal feature? I'll give a text command okay i'll take this one 
instead of alphabetical i'll take it to numerical over here okay so in the same way i'll copy it and make all the nomenclatures this one and last one this one okay so you know that this is not a one this is a two one two dash this is three dash this is four dash this is five dash this one six and this is seven dash and last one is eight dash so this is the way to give the nomenclature for all the corners of your cone so i already take the projections now i'm going to make the top view over here so you know that if you see here okay so you know that in the top view you will see the triangle over here and the length is given and length is this 55 mm so you have to take the line from the center first so from here i'll take a line downwards and the length of the line is 55 because length of the cone is given which is 55 so this is the last point of my cone or you can say this is my apex or vertex of the cone so now i'll take the lines this one join by this one again take a line this one with this one again take a line this one and last one is this one and last one this one okay so you can see that these are my elements and this is my top view of the cone according to my assumption like this okay so i'll make some thickness over here so you know that this is must be thick and whenever you face the cylinder type or cone type questions you all only you have to the outer edges continuous thick because these edges are my assumptions because i'll divide these according to my assumption these are not given over here okay so you have not to be make these lines thick okay so these lines should be thin over here and outer edges should be thick this is my assumption now i'm going to make my actual cone or actual projection of cone according to the question so that projection should be at an angle of 45 degree so your axis line should be made an, at an angle of 45 degree so you know that the axis line is passing through always, always from the center so the center line is overlap with your this edge you can see here okay, okay. so after nomenclature you will understand so i'll make the nomenclature so you can see here i'll make like this okay so this is the nomenclature in the top view i'm rest with only this apex nomenclature so you have to give the nomenclature here as well that is o you know that center is always denoted with o mainly and this is o dash this is o okay so this is the nomenclature of the center points or the vertex of the cone so i'm going to rotate my now i'm going to rotate my this particular top view exactly at an angle of 45 degree because you know that my angle with vp is always seenable from the top view so you have to rotate your top view at an angle of 45 degree and you have to rotate your axis line at an angle of 45 degree over here and you know that the axis line is not seenable because the edge is visible is here that is 0 or o to 3 7 is overlaps over your axis line so your axis line is not visible so you are going to rotate this edge over here at an angle of 45 degree so that your complete cone is rotated at an angle of 45 degree with vp so how to rotate here is there are a lot of ways but i'll select this one i'll select all these and i copy over here put over here like this so i'll copy the complete one and put over here now i'm going to rotate it now so again i'll select all of this go to the rotation command so the base point is this one when i'll select the base point it gets rotated now you can see here now it is rotation in clockwise direction so you have to give the angle in negative so i'll give the minus 45 okay so you can see that this angle is 45 i'll give the dimension first so you can see this is angular dimension this one and this one so you can see that this is 45 okay but the coastal says the angle of the axis with vp is 45 
so you know that this line represents your axis over here so you have to make this line at an angle of 45 degree and how to check that this angle is 45 so i'll make like this i extend my line like this so when you take the dimension over here angular with this one and this one so you can see that this is also 45 the thing is here that if you see slightly over here you see that i'll show you something like here it's very important point over here and it makes your e questions easy to solve so you can see here this one and this one and this one and this one so you can see that this is a particular triangle this is actually a triangle over here or okay, i'll show you some like this and this one so you can see that this is actually a triangle over here and when you make this angle 45 and this is a 90 degree this is a 90 degree so it automatically becomes 45 okay if the question says that your axis line is 30 degrees let us suppose this is a 30 degree but it remains 90 degree over here so it automatically becomes 60 okay this angle should be 60 so thing is when you rotate your this particular pyramid or triangle over here you have to see that the rotation is like this one so this line is not rotated instead of that this line rotated okay so if the angle is 45 so it is also 45 but angle is 30 then it becomes 60 over here okay so you have to be very careful while selecting the rotation lines over here okay so this is done this is a 45 degree now i'm going to make my front view with the help of this one so i'll make the all the projections towards the front view like this this one okay and one more that is from the apex so this one okay again take a projection from this one so this one and this one last one is this one so you can see that all things have been done so you know that this is o points okay so i'll make the nomenclature first so you can understand better way so nomenclature is like this okay so this is the nomenclature of all the points now i'm going to make my front view over here so you know that when you see the cone at a particular angle so you will see the apparent shape of the circle as ellipse so you have to make ellipse over here and how to find out the points you know that this o point projection is coming towards over here and this o point projection also coming to towards over here so this point definitely be a o1 okay so how to make it like again i'll make like this i copy it put over here then i'll select this one okay so this is o1 and should be subscript o1 dash okay so this point should definitely be o1 dash in the same way you are going to find out or locate your all points like see that this is one dash and one projection is coming towards like this and from the this side one is coming from this side okay so where these two projection lines meet that that intersection definitely be one one dash okay so i'll make like this i'll copy it this one i'll put over here and then select this one and remove o and one so it should be one one dash so in the same way all points to be located like this okay so this is the way to locate all the points so you i know that this is ellipse elliptical form so you have to select the ellipse over here so i'll select the ellipse and this is one of the point of the ellipse and this is five and i'll go up to three okay so you can see that this is my ellipse which is visible when your cone is inclined with vp so when cone is inclined with vp the circle form is seen as your ellipse which gives your apparent shape so this is a i'll make this little bit thick okay so 
now I'm going to join this apex with the extreme 3 1 and again this one and with this one 7 okay so now you know that when you see from here front view the half of the ellipse is visible and half of the ellipse is not visible to you so you have to make like this you have to make this part as a hidden and this part as a thick so how to make this you have to trim something you i'll select this one after taking a trim command then right click and then i remove this one okay so now i'm going to make ellipse again so i'll make ellipse again so you can see that this one this one and last one is again this one okay now i'll select this one and make this part is as a hidden line so this is a hidden now so you can see that this is a hidden okay so i'll make these edges thick okay so this is the question i have done with so you can see that only this one is hidden so i'll show this as a hidden and all edges or outer edges you have to show as continuous thick all the projection lines should be thin as per the convention of lines so i'm rest with the only dimensions so take a dimension over here i'll take this one this one so you know that this is 55 and now the dimension of the circle the diameter so this one is 40 mm okay so i think i'm done with everything in this part of the question i hope you understand this question this is the case in which your solid is inclined with vertical plane thank you everyone